individuals who are rattled and there are individuals who speak lies. But what happens when a whole country is rattled and just lies one after the other? Yes, Rattle Pakistan now resorts to brazen lies, releases fake videos. Pak media has claimed its jets are flying over Siachen. India denies all such lies spread by Pakistan. Take a look at this report. You will see how the Indian army put forth the real video of the real attack in Naushera and then Pakistan posted a video that was already on the internet since long back. Take a look. India's befitting reply to Pakistan. This is how India smashed Pakistani posts in the Naushera sector. And now embarrassed after India released videos of the punitive strike, Pakistan released a so-called border video of its own. In this video, the Pakistan army would have us believe this is proof that they hit back on Indian army posts on the 13th of May. But the twist lies in the tale. This one video has five lies. First, unlike the video shown, the Indian Army has concrete bunkers and not sangars made of stone in this sector. Second lie, the video does not show firing, only an implosion. Pakistan's third lie, why didn't India suffer any casualties if this attack indeed took place? Around this date of attack on bunkers, no casualties were reported from the Indian side. And finally, why are there multiple edits on this video? After Naushara operation, uh, Indian army has alerted all along the international border and line of control that Pakistan may do some mischievous after the, uh, this uh, uh, operation, uh, Naushara, which, uh, in which the Pakistan has maximum damage, number of bunkers have been damaged and uh, some of the special service goods commandos there who are doing the bat operation on the line of control, they have been also killed. And if these lies were not enough, a rattled Pakistan came up with another bogus claim. Pakistani media said Pakistan Air Force jets flew over the Siachen Glacier. The Indian Air Force busted all Pakistan's claims. Clarifying, there was no airspace violation on the Siachen Glacier. The fact also is, Pakistan is not even on the Siachen Glacier. India occupies the Soltoro Ridge Line. Unable to take action, a rattled Pakistan has been trying to counter India with half-truths and absolute lies. But India has called Pakistan's bluff. With Ashwini Kumar from the Naushera sector, Bureau Report, India Today. Absolute bogus claims. And we are joined in this debate by Lieutenant General Shankar Prasad, BJP spokesperson GVL Narsimha Rao, former ambassador to Pakistan, G. Parthasad, he joins me in the studio here. And we have Sultan Hali from Pakistan defense expert. I want to begin with you, Mr. Sultan Hali, because we've shown these bogus video that you've put up. What? I, 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 I just fail. I, I just fall short of words. The problem is that a whole country lying at this level. Do you understand the seriousness? One of your major generals, our army did an official press conference. They put forth a video. The next day, one of your officers posts a video like this, just look at this video. It has multiple angles, multiple cuts. The camera shows different locations. You're showing one little hut, it's blown up. Any child can make out it's an IED blast. What kind of mockery is this that your army is doing with your entire country? Well, I'm glad that you admit that you are running short of words because you should be. Your video is perfect and ours is bogus. 
How convenient. Tell me the place. Tell me the place. Why should I tell you the place? Why should I Why tell you the place? Why should you not? Because you're claiming you you I'm, you've blown I'm, it I'm out. Not, I'm not. Tell me the place. Tell if me the place. If you want to answer, that's call the Pakistan Army spokesperson. That's precisely my point. That's precisely my point. That's precisely my point. That's precisely yeah, my point, point Sultan Ali. I that don't because represent your my army, army I don't is putting you all in such a fix. I'm an individual. Your uh, your army is putting individuals in your country in such a fix, and I'm sure even your government. You people have nothing to say. You say I'm not going to tell you the place. If you claim you have blown up a place, Chief Minister Sati sir, you're supposed to at least tell the world. This is my video, and this is the place. I'm. Come on, be army enough, Mr. Pakistan. Uh, well, I, having been in the army, I would tell my friend on the Pakistani side yeah. that they should all have, sir, given what are known as the grid coordinates. Absolutely. Then, then you can check it by aerial photo. But I'm coming to a more serious point. Yeah. As I can't understand why do you take the Pakistani seriously? Uh, you, you, in the last three days, two of the senior most intelligence officials in the United States, the director of intelligence Daniel Coates, and the director of armed forces intelligence, Lieutenant General Vince Stewart, have testified before the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. What have they said? Pakistan says no cross-border attacks. Both these top intelligence officials say tensions have risen because of increased terrorist attacks across the LOC by Pakistan-based terrorists. I'm not using the word Pakistan-based terrorists. This is U.S. officials in Senate testimony. Absolutely. Uh, 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 across the line of control. More important, they've said it started with the Pathan court attack and relations cannot improve till Pakistan acts on the Pathan court attack. And I've lived long enough to know in Pakistan to know that the wire, the wire taps, the telephone taps were from Bawalpur. Hmm. And Bawalpur, of course, is coincidentally the headquarters of the Maulana Masood Azhar of the Jaisi Mohammed. Answer that, Sultan Ali. Answer that. This is why I said I'm short of words because I knew you're going to be in a very pitiable situation because we are going to talk with facts and you will actually have no facts to counter them because what comes forth is absolute fake documents, fake things and you must answer what he's very categorically asked you. Yes, I'm so glad that His Excellency Ambassador Parthasati has uh, talked about the two topmost intelligence officials of USA. But why has he forgotten one of the most important comments they made and that is that the China-Pakistan economic corridor is leading to tensions between India and Pakistan and whatever oh. India is doing, you are raising the ante because you are rattled. Yeah, 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 let, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me, just a moment, just no, no, a moment. No, 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 just, just let me moment. answer that. Yeah, yeah. The tensions arose in January last year, that's what they say, after Pathan court, which they say was your doing and the China-Pakistan economic corridor came later. We have no tensions with China on our border. We've got excellent confidence building measures with them. It is you who are playing this funny games. The Americans are not saying that there are tensions on India's border with China. Yes, we have opposed that corridor. I, I think and we China should, knows how to live yeah, with it. And I, I don't know what be, world you're living in. We should, we should not let you just go away and meander into China. I think you should come back to Pakistan and I, be okay and answer his question on that. Because you did a very smart track of running away and going to China. Please don't do and that. I've answered you on China. Please, yeah, and he's answered you on China. Now come back to POK and answer. Do you understand the seriousness of this? The world over and the, the fact that he's talking about in the US Senate, people are talking and clearly saying that you are actually sponsoring terrorism, cross-border terrorism. And that too in the Senate. That too in the committee. Senate, Intelligence Committee. Yeah, the same Senate Intelligence Committee where their former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, admitted that all the jihadis were the creation of the CIA when the <laughs> USSR oh, had uh, invaded Afghanistan. And she admitted that they left them there and that is why the world is in the yeah, shambles absolutely. that it is yeah, today. Please, please. So what has Pakistan got please to do with it? The, the, Ameri the, the, Ameri Ameri the Americans the left in 1989. The Jaisal Mohammed was created when I was in Pakistan by Maulana Masood Azhar, whom we foolishly released in Kandahar. Okay, please, please, please no, no, just, just let me complete. Let me give the facts. The Americans left in uh, uh, left much earlier. The Russians left much earlier. Jaisal Mohammed was your creation. The Lashkar-e-Taiba was your creation. Maulana Masood Azhar is not sitting in Mars. 
He's sitting in Lahore. Yes. And we know the precise location of where he lives in Muridke. Absolutely. Lieutenant General retired Ambar, Sir, Just a minute. Just a minute. Ambar, sir, he, was, he was in your custody for six years. And how do we know that you did not create him? Who? <laughs> Masood Adar. Please yes. send him back to us if you created him. He is in Bhavarpur. <laughs> Yeah, but he, he was in your he, custody for six years. Yes, he, sorry, he was in our custody for three years. Don't Gen exaggerate. General Please Shankar Prasad. General Shankar Prasad. Three, 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 three months is a long time. General so Shankar Prasad. Okay, okay. Just a minute, sir. Just a minute, sir. Yeah. This is why, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is why, you know, we fall short of words. Yeah. Because the point is that however many facts we put forth in front of you, hammer them in front of you, you are going to escape here and there. And that is why, General Prasad, before I take a question from him, I want you to actually look at what is written on the screen. Can we play that? Because we want to tell you what the United States of America, whom you treat as a great country that you can rely on and look forth always for approval, has done to you. Done recently, a day ago. Can we just tell them how much money that they was given to them as subsidy? Uh, to let, Trump seeks to yeah, just a minute, start, just a minute, just a minute, convert US subsidy to park into loan. They say very clearly that you don't deserve the loan pa uh, yeah. subsidy, you should get it as loan. Trump left it to US State Department to take a final call, but this surely give, means that bad days are being ushered in for your country. I want a reaction on that from you, General Prasad, before we go on. Because the world over now is being realized how they are sponsoring cross-border terrorism. Start sequentially, or you would... Can I start sequentially, please? Absolutely. First of all, you've heard President Donald Trump's statement to say that Pakistan must stop terrorism against India. The second, you saw how the Prime Minister of Pakistan was treated in Saudi Arabia recently. Third, you've recently heard the $190 million aid to Pakistan is going to be deleted by America. Fourth, you've also heard how the Pakistani Senate has been briefed today to categorically say that Pakistan is fermenting terrorism in India and the situation is getting worse because of Pakistan's behavior and India is going to perhaps give them a suitable answer. Yeah. With these are four or five points, is it not adequately clear to everybody including the gentleman on your show that America is not going to back them any further? And as far as Hillary Clinton's statements are concerned, it has been repeated a million times that if you feed snakes in your backyard, yes. they're going to come back and bite you. Yes. And that is what's meant for Pakistan. They are the ones who are now giving milk to these snakes and these snakes are biting them back. Pakistan themselves are also um, are suffering terrorism. They're victims of terrorism. Pakistan has been completely isolated in this matter, both by Afghanistan, Iran, India, and now even yes. Saudi Arabia snubbed them. Absolutely. So where is he talking about? I think it's time Pakistan understood where they stand in the international forum. Respond to that, Mr. Hali. Yeah, well, uh, in Indian uh, aspirations are definitely to isolate Pakistan, but let me assure you that we are not isolated. Yes, there, we have had some setbacks, but that does not mean that we are standing isolated. Good. We can, At least you're being honest can... today. <laughs> Good. At least you're being honest today. Okay, Good, at least he's being... Yeah, yeah, please complete. After that, we can get a reaction from GVL Narsema Rao. At least he's being okay. honest today, Mr. Rao. Okay, and, and the other thing is that Pakistan can live in isolation if, if, if a push comes to shove and Pakistan can survive like it has done in the past too. Mr. Rao. <coughs> Anjana, yeah. I think... Uh, <coughs> Pakistan has been living in denial. I think uh, they have made uh, falsehood as their state policy and now what they are today trying to dece deception. They are indulging in even self-deception hmm. by, by circulating videos which they themselves know were, were on the, on, in the social media, on the, in, on the internet for a very long time. Yeah. So I think it has not policy. I don't know if that is a part of their constitution as well to indulge in self-deception and to, uh, to utter falsehood on every matter. Mm -hmm. On Kulbhushan Jadav case, ICJ has really given them a, 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 a tight slap. 
hmm. and the uh, uh, um, American president, US president Donald Trump gave them a royal snub in Saudi Arabia. And, and, and practically on, on surgical strikes, they, they claimed there were no surgical strikes. On the LOC, cross LOC strikes that were announced by our hmm. army hmm. yesterday, hmm. they claimed this did not happen. Yeah. Then where right. was the need for them to come up with a counter yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. fake video? Yeah. Just, 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 just a minute, government that has Mr. blocked Nakshimara. its uh, moorings yeah. and Pakistan yeah. Prime Minister faces just now... But, may I add Mr. Mr. Nakshimara to option, what you said denied. about the surgical strikes, the uh, uh, intelligence officials in their testimony to the US Senate have said that these Pakistan actions provoked an Indian cross-border attack on terrorist camps in November. So they've accepted no, it? No, no. The interesting point it is very accurate yeah. because we did not attack Pakistan army camps. <laughs> we attacked Pakistan terrorist camps and that's what we told the D Pakistani DGMO. Okay. So what the Americans say terrorist confirms people. what we yeah. told the Pakistani DGMO that Absolutely. they were a strike on terrorist camps. Pakistan said it never happened. The Americans with satellite intelligence have confirmed it did. So, uh, please. Again, it's going to be a very pitiable condition for you, Mr. Hali, to react to that because this I know you're totally, you're totally cornered. You're totally cornered. I have this to is slip into a two break. highest I intelligence officials in the U.S. Absolutely. I have to slip into a short break. I'll get your reaction, Nasimha Raza, after a very short break, but very interesting. After I come back, uh, Mr. Sultan Hali, I don't want to throw a shocker at you, so I just want to tell you what I'm going to ask you. Where do you manufacture these tapes? Why does your army do all this editing? Do you have a proper uh, system set up like a newsroom of a channel? How do they do all this? We'll try to get some insight on that from you because this has really become a huge joke. An absolute international joke. Fake videos and that too floated by the army like this with multiple cuts, multiple camera angles, fake locations. Coming back, keep watching in there tonight. point we showed you the many lies of Pakistan which involved a lot of fake video, a lot of editing. But be before I take that interesting question from Mr. Sultan Ali as to where is the editing bay for the Pakistani army, I just want you to have a look at this. Now this is a former ISI officer of Pakistan saying very clearly that Kulbhushan Jadav who Pakistan claims in the International Court of Justice has been caught from Balochistan has actually been caught in Iran, the very place that India has been telling the world. Listen in. Iran ko hum batate hain ki ji kal boshan humne pakda hai aapke mulk se wo ye karta raha aur uske teen mahine baad ja ke Iran cha bahar ka agreement karta hai India se aur cha bahar mein raw ka ek bohut bada base vanta ja raha hai. Kal boshan bhi cha bahar se operate kar raha tha. So Mr. Sultan Ali, you can take both my questions. Clearly, the ISI okay. officer is saying that he's been caught from Iran, we've been telling the world all lies. He's been caught from Iran. And don't you try to tell me that he's not been caught from Iran, he was operating from there. Caught from Iran are the exact words he uses. One. And number two, where is this editing system that your Pakistani army says? Because obviously if they're floating such videos, you have to do some technical editing work, sir. Okay, uh, first of all, I know Lieutenant General Amjad Shoaib personally and I talked to him about this and I've also listened to this uh, video or audio which you are talking about. He does not say that uh, Kulbushan Yadav was captured from Iran. He said he was operating from Iran. He says caught. And, uh, he, no, he does not caught. say caught. He said, yes, he does. He said, usko humne pakda. Haan. To he pakadne ka matlab uh, caught hi hota koma, hai. Koma, koma, Caught matlab koma, pakadna. There's a, no, there is a pause. He was operating from Iran and he was crossing into... So what is the word for operating? Come on, don't fool us. What is the word for operating? I don't Urdu to shab de, aap bata de. There is a word for caught in Urdu. Tell us what it is. And what is the word for operating? Let's be clear because I know we have to come down to this level. A for apple, B for boy, let's do it. Tell me, what is the word, sir, in Urdu for operating? It can't be pakra. He says that humne usko pakla, but he uh, does not say that Iran se pakla. He said that Iran mein 
ऑपरेट कर रहा था ओके सो वी वी नो दैट नो इट वेरी क्लियरली नाउ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से वन थिंग लिविंग एस आई दी आई एस आई ऑफ ऑफिसर एंड वॉट इज सेड और वॉट वॉज मेंट लेट इज बी वेरी क्लियर the iranian foreign minister has raised this issue with uh, pakistan hmm. as a part of their growing tensions hmm. wherein the iranian army chief threatened to invade pakistan hmm. Hmm. so there are problems on all three borders iran yeah. afghanistan uh, india yeah. more importantly no less than the german ambassador to pakistan yes said he was picked up in jamala ah. yeah absolutely so, and and uh, I mean, ever I mean, since ever since we put forth all the prove that needed in the international court of justice whereas you actually talked of a fake fake video in which kulbushan jadav is confessing it and that video was not even accepted for viewing by the international court let's not stick to this i want to come to my second question because after that i want a response from general prasad and narsamha rao why do they do this you have an operating official uh, media team which makes up these fake videos for your army we do this in your minds mm -hmm. because the uh, fake video which you are talking about calling it fake kulbushan yadav let me tell you that his confession was recorded in front of a magistrate first class it was not viewed in the international court of justice because it was not to decide whether he is guilty or not mm -hmm. and <laughs> you did not get a victory <laughs> you <laughs> <have> <laughs> <got> <laughs> a <laughs> order no no excuse me a magistrate first class mm -hmm. in a military court martial How can you have military a magistrate court first class? Came later. He was tried by a military court martial. Oh, sir, there was no civilian. Please, it was under your yeah. under your recently passed act. There are no civilians in that. There are no civilians. No, there are no that, civilians. But his statement was recorded in front of a magistrate first class, and the uh, and his confession the, was presented in the field general court martial. And there's a sir, there's a difference between a military. I never. Court, I, you and, have you have you have executed 240 Pakistanis. in military court marshals the kangaroo will have them the privilege of the kangaroo military court that you have the privilege of and you have to be the privilege of the facts decimated here on the show facts decimated i had very little time i just want a uh, quick one line reactions from you general prasad <laughs> Well Pakistan remains continuously in a mode of denial yeah. whether it is Kulbushan Yadav's arrest from Iran whether it is surgical strike or whether it is what we have done to that post in the last few days which was videographed and shown yesterday Pakistan has no option except to deny everything that we will bring on the table because there is no capability to do anything other than Absolutely. just simply deny and if they do not deny and accept any of these things they will have no no local stand by in any matter whatsoever So absolutely, absolutely. I'm afraid I'll have to leave it there. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me in this debate. Facts decimated one by one, on to the point. And on the other hand, a rackled country that's actually just catching hold of lies here and there, but the lies actually just lay bare in front of the entire world. Keep watching in that way.